Hello, this is Matthew Marco with AbnormalMapping.com and welcome to the first of probably a long-running series where I look at freeware games uh, by various game makers. Today we're looking at Supermoons by Lana Polanski. You can find her at LanaTheGuns101 on Twitter. Uh, she also has a Patreon that I'll link. Uh, she makes games and does games writing and she's great. This game is Supermoons. Uh, here's the controls. Press space to make moon. Up or down arrow to change the background. Press letter keys to make moons bounce. Right click to move to close box. And uh, this is a game about uh, making these moons. Let's see. We can uh, press any key to make them the chimes. Oh, we can change that. Okay. Space to make the moons bounce. Or to appear. There we go. So, up and down changes between these two backgrounds. This one is a dungeon, looks like. This one, it looks like a psychedelic forest. When I hit uh, the keys, we get these chime sounds. I think those lights are happening all on their own. Hit that to get a thing going again. So, let me look at help again. Up and down to change background, space to make moon, press letter keys to make moons bounce. Hmm. Oh, there we go, there's... Q did that. Those moons are getting crazy. Uh, so this is definitely one of those more minimalist games. Uh, the uh, background art, I know, was made in uh, the Artist in 10 Seconds, which was a Lulum Dare program? Uh, right, and the moons themselves are uh, created in a uh, I don't know what, remember what they're called uh, like the spiral graph program that generates those shapes uh, I'll link to both of those it is definitely one of those games that I think exists as an example of a juxtaposition of disparate art pieces to create a uh, more of a mood than a game with you know, uh, set goals. You're just making these moons bounce and uh, be happy as these chimes happen. Um, the implication that they're moons, I think, is interesting, given uh, that they are these super balls bouncing through what I assume is a more earthly landscape, uh, as dungeon or spaceship or gun. I don't know. To me, it looks like a dungeon with like a cave in the back and like brick walls maybe there's that fallen pillar over there um but the moons themselves uh don't really change depending on your background they just continue to bounce happily oblivious to what's going on around them as uh the buttons make these wind chimes that one's really ugly that one's pretty Some of those chimes are very robotic. Probably more in keeping with, like, that's a sound that makes sense here, right? I mean, whereas that chime, that's a forest chime. Games like these uh, really delight me because they don't they don't exist outside of serving an artistic purpose. Like a game like this, uh, I mean, certainly there might be artistic intent on the part of the creator. I don't want to speak for Lana, but they present as a thing that exists for itself. They are interesting because it is this strange world that you peek your head into for a few seconds and watch the interaction of these disparate elements and have a strange and unusual confluence of art and motion. Which, deep down as all video games are, I mean, we layer narrative on top of these systems, but create moons and they bounce, and you dictate how that happens, is part of the experience of video games. You could see a version where you want to get these moons into these gold things and you get points, or you don't want them to bounce more than twice uh, before they bounce off screen, or you want to bounce and then there's a mouse cursor where you click on them and blow them up, something like that. I mean, those are the gamification 
of this is in layering on the right or wrong state of these moons. Whereas in a game like this, it is just the moons. They just, they just bounce. They just vibrate wildly in this instance. And then you summon the chimes as much as you want them. I like these peaceful ones. I'm not too keen on this cybernetic dungeon here. But these are delightful. It's almost meditative. Uh, especially when you don't have a thousand moons jutting, juttering against each other. It's just one lazily bouncing. Maybe two. They're just here. Nice, it's peaceful. It is, uh, for a second, kind of like looking at a moon in a dark, foresty night. And then the moon comes crashing down. Not to worry, they seem pretty soft, given how quickly they bounce. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, this is Super Moons. You can find it on Itch.io. There'll be a link in the description, along with a link to the uh, various pieces that were used to create this. Uh, they're all very interesting themselves. Maybe give them a shot to see what's up what with them. And uh, come back next time for more uh, small games. Thank you.